The SABC and the SIU approached the courts to review and set aside a decision by the former SABC board to pay Mutsuening and to recover financial losses of monies to the tune of 11.5 million rand. He joins us now via Zoom. A very good morning to you, uh, Mr. Mutsuening. Thanks for making the time. Thank you very much, uh, Desiree. Yesterday was seven days since the order came out. Have you paid back? <laughs> uh, why do you want me to pay back money that I was given lawfully so by the board of the SABC? And reason being, the board has realized the good work that I have done uh, for the SABC. It is a recognition. And you, where you are talking now, that channel, it is the channel that I created to create employment. That's why many of people were employed in that channel. And I'm very proud that uh, I have contributed very positive for the SABC. Why would the court sit differently? You see, the matters were presented in front of the court. In this case, we believe the judge was wrong on the fact because the facts from the SABC, they are very clear, those minutes of the SABC. It says that if uh, I, I, I was not given that money, uh, 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 SABC, they were supposed to go and borrow money to have such a, a channel. So what I did, uh, I went and raised funds for the SABC. The money was not there for this channel. I went myself, raised money for SABC outside the scope of my work. I don't see any wrong when the SABC recognized that you, Saudi, you have brought financially sustainable for SABC. And it's good because this channel is still operating even today. Employees of SABC, they are employed. SABC is still benefiting from my efforts outside the scope of my daily work. And this is said by the SABC, not by me. So two things I want to ask you with relation to that response. One is, as such a senior official within the uh, organization, how do you determine that uh, doing anything that's for the goodwill of the organization is outside of your scope? But two, the very deal itself has since been found to be wanting. What are your thoughts about that? If it has been found wanting, why this channel is still there? Why are you still employed in that channel? It is not one, uh, it has not been found wanting. Actually, it is good for the SABC. It is good for you employees of the SABC. You must give me credit for the good work that I have done for this organization. Secondly, the issue of uh, 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 I was uh, doing the work for the SABC, it is totally wrong. Here are the reasons. The SABC, in, in those minutes of the SABC, when they took that resolution, they said the work that I have done, it was outside the scope of my contract of employment, which it is true. Remember, my job was not to go and raise funds for the SABC. My job was to make sure that we have appealing programs on the SABC platforms. Let me tell you, SABC, they don't have license on this uh, uh, channel that you are operating within. The license is owned by my multi-choice. This it is a business outside SABC. So you can't have a, a whatever that you have in that contract because the, the channel was not there when I signed the contract. Also, what is wrong about the judge? Let me tell you, it's very interesting. That contract of employment that she's referring to, it is not relevant because when I raise money, I did not raise money uh, because of the scope of my work. I raised money outside my scope of work. But also, the contract was signed after I have already signed the contract of multi-choice, after the effects. So that contract itself is not relevant. Mr. Mutsuling, you keep referring to the formulation of this channel uh, as in relation to this conversation, but it's not related, is it? Uh, the 
deal in question here is about a different deal with multi-choice uh, that has been labeled controversial. Some people have even said it's more controversial than uh, the Gupta State Capture Project in the nation. In terms of the selling of SABC archives to multi-choice or transference of archives to multi-choice, you still don't think that deal is controversial? Uh, look, your own bosses at the SABC, they have explained several times. I don't know, I don't know you, journalists, why are you still pursuing uh, uh, this issue? The same SABC, your bosses, the current bosses that I'm fighting with, they have already explained that no ICAS were sold to multi-choice. It is a fact, it is a given. And the SABC alluded to that. I don't know why people are still pushing this narrative. I think the issue here, the thing that I have done is to transform the SABC, is to make sure that the SABC is financially sustainable. Because during my time, it was happiness at the SABC. You know, most I was giving you sweetness every time, every year. You as employees of the SABC. So have you recorded, officially recorded your intention not to pay back the money? Uh, that's really, you know, uh, I operate like lightning. I have already <laughs> put my papers in court and serve those other parties. I'm appealing the matter. I think another court will find uh, 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 differently. But also, uh, how can the judge said I must pay uh, within seven days? I don't have a bag of money uh, that I go with. I don't have that money. So how can I do that within seven days? It was unreasonable. How Dr. Mutsen, and you didn't invest your money. Um, they're asking you to pay back at an interest rate of 15.5%. Uh, I think we're doing a uh, calculation now. You're supposed to pay back about a, a million rands more than what you got. Well, your thoughts about that? That's why uh, it is, I'm saying it is unreasonable. Also considering that what informed the judge about 15%, because interest rates... Even people uh, who just work in my garden, they know interest rates, inflation, uh, it, it, it is informed by inflation. So you can't come from your head, come with a 15% because I don't understand why the honorable judge, who I respect so much, came with such a, a, a thing that uh, I must pay 15% uh, 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 interest rates. It's, is even uh, more than what I was thinking of. But I was not paid 11 million this uh, we'll come back to that question because you... you uh, 6.7 million. Yes, you have previously approached the courts to say that it wasn't 11 million and we'll talk about that, but we asked our viewers to take part in this conversation and we just want to take a look at the tweets that they have sent through with the, in this regard. Let's take a look at those tweets. Uh, Prince Mkolisi uh, uh, Rolasha saying, I don't think Mr. Claudio Mutsaneng should pay a cent to our courts are becoming problematic as our courts seem to have eyes and purge certain people. He has always been a target. That's Prince Mkolisi for you there. Temba Tsavuka saying, hi, good morning, upshen to everyone. If he knows what's good for him, he will pay back the money just like the court ordered him to do so. Uh, failing to obey the court orders will bring him lots of problems. And Mtokozisi says uh, he must pay back the money with interest. Uh, there was no need to be paid a success fee because he was working for the SABC. Those are some of the thoughts that have come through this morning, uh, Mr. Mutwening. Always a divisive issue. Some people in support of and some people against. And uh, just in terms of uh, it, how do you feel about uh, the, the duration of time it has taken? Has it not drained you personally and financially and perhaps in terms of your family relations, uh, how this case has dragged for so long? Uh, look, uh, Desri, I, I don't regret uh, uh, my role at the SABC because it was 
a good role that I played within the, the, the SAPC. And I'm aware that people who transform any organization in this country, they become target. So I don't regret if I must die for the good work that I have done for the SABC, it's fine, I don't have a problem. But also, uh, the three, people go to borrow money at the bank, people go to get bail out from government. During my time, there was no bail, uh, bail out. I bail out the SABC. It's a fact, it's a given. Uh, this current leadership of the SABC, they went and uh, 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 ask money from government, they were bailed out by government. If I was there at the SABC, there was not going to be any bailout of, 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 of money for SABC because I'm very capable and I have all the skills and expertise to deal with issues. But in this case, I, I walked tall, uh, I'm happy. So uh, both the SABC and the SIU last week welcomed the court decision, uh, but you're saying uh, they haven't heard the last of you? Not at all. Uh, I'm a fighter. Yeah. Uh, my spirit is very high. Uh, I'm going to fight this battle until the constitutional court. I'm not going to allow a situation where actually the court, in my personal view, they were supposed to say, well done, Saudi. This will encourage other people to go and think outside the box so that they can raise funds and partner with the private sector to make sure all these SOEs are okay financially. But in this case, they are saying uh, 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 executives must go and get bail out from government. I'm the first person in the history of South Africa to raise money for government SOE. I'm very happy. Just clarify this for us. You mentioned it earlier. In an affidavit from 18th June in 2019, you initially confirmed having been paid the uh, 11.5 million, but later changed your story uh, in an affidavit from the 22nd of September the same year, claiming that you were only paid uh, 6.7 million, or with the difference having been uh, paid to SARS as tax. How much exactly were you paid? Uh, I was paid 6.7 million a uh, day. Three. Remember, as an employee, even yourself, you are not in control of uh, 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 SARS. When you received your money from the SABC, the SABC decides and SARS how much they are taking. So the SABC paid SARS without my passion, my, my permission, without my knowledge. If uh, 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 they want that money, they must go to SARS. And I must deal with this money that came to me, which is 6.7 million. That's all that I must deal with, not this uh, uh, 11 million, because I have never received uh, 11 million in my bank account. So you say you've officially uh, recorded with the courts that you're not paying back the money, but part of uh, the order stipulated that you must pay legal fees uh, uh, to the two applicant councils in the matter, uh, the SABC and the SIU. Have you paid this uh, portion of the order? No, remember, uh, when you appeal, I appeal all the matters that are in those papers, but also you as SABC, why you are not saying the SABC, they were also instructed to pay me? Remember, in, in that judgment, the SABC is also supposed to pay me money for my legal cost. The one we have states that you have to pay uh, the legal costs. Um, so basically what you're saying is uh, you're fighting this to the end. Aye. You see, uh, as long as I'm alive, and I'm happy, as you can see, that I'm happy, I'm enjoying myself. I'm going to fight this battle and enjoy myself. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for talking to us. As you we said, this, we, yeah. I, I can't have headache about issues that I'm mean, not in control. You see, <laughs> what I should do is to just enjoy life and, 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 and fight the way I can fight the battles. At the end, I think the fairness and the law will prevail. So, Mr. Mutsuaneng, just as I, I say, uh, I thank you for talking to us this morning. I just want to ask you your thoughts about uh, your, your, 
your fortunes. You you managed to gain some seats in the in the recently ended local government elections, uh, and. Uh, gain some sort of influence, especially in your home province of the Free State. What's the latest? What's happening in that regard? Uh, you see, uh, you can't put a good man down. People of South Africa, they understand me. They, they know what I have done for this country. In 2024, you'll see miracles. SCM is going to do very well because people can come with whatever to tarnish my integrity. That is not going to stand because people know that I have never stolen money. Even this money that people are talking about, I have never stolen money. I was given by my bosses. I have never heard where an employer paid uh, uh, employees and the employees reject the money. Hey, I, I enjoy that money. I have eaten that money. It's a fact. <laughs> Clearly, Mr. Mutsun, we can see even with your background that it's not a cheap background. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm here. Uh, uh, there are no problems for me. Well, we uh, uh, thank you so much for making the time to speak to us today. Claudia Mutsuneng is a former Chief Operations Officer for the SABC. As we said in our introduction last week, uh, the Gauteng High Court, the Gauteng, uh, South Gauteng High Court uh, ordered him to repay uh, 11.5 million with costs and also pay for uh, the legal counsel of uh, the uh, SABC and uh, the Special Investigative Unit. But he says he has officially uh, lodged uh, his response that he is fighting this to the end. Of course, it's a story we'll continue to watch.